Tripura, the quiet little sister of the northeastern states, is endowed with a natural wealth of bamboo forests spreading over more than 2,200 square kilometers. The common man's life here seems to be guided by bamboo, as you will see miles of bamboo fencing on the countryside, along with houses, shops, and even temples structured with bamboo. Long lengths of bamboo carried over shoulders, bamboo being sold on roadsides or rafted miles through the river, project a strong presence of this wonder grass in the culture of the state. Apart from the dominant Muli bamboo, species such as Kankaich, Britinga and Dolu are also found in Tripura. Kankaich being a straight bamboo is extensively used in furniture making. Britinga is traditionally favored species for basketry and woven applications, while Dolu is among the favorite species for handicrafts. NMBA designed scientific methods of propagation and cultivation are used, which allows large scale quality production of bamboo. Entrepreneurs are joining in and setting up production houses, while NMBA has provided them the technical know how introduced them to national markets and funded their products in a considerable way. To produce anything with bamboo is not about the machine but the man. Inherently talented, the Tripura village folk are behind whatever is produced in Tripura. Women roll the agarbatti with hands and split bamboo with simple hand tools to make agarbatti sticks. There are hundreds of clusters who are making handicrafts and agarbatti sticks deep inside the villages of Tripura. Recognizing this, the National Mission on Bamboo Applications explored the potential of bamboo-based products when pitched in domestic markets. The potential, vast and almost immeasurable, was the driving force behind the conceptualization of various strategies for production, transportation and marketing of bamboo products. The idea of the mission basically was that for those activities which are well known, for which traditional skills exist, on which people depend, how to value add to, to, to those activities with uh, infusion of technology, with uh, industrialization, with, uh, uh, with uh, new uh, uh, markets and new products and in that process augment incomes and create more employment opportunities. Strategies were implemented with professional expertise and vision and today they have authored the Tripura's Bamboo Success Story. The Tripura Bamboo Mission is working coherently with village folks day in and day out, providing them the right knowledge, motivating them by providing insights into new designs and reassuring them that their products can be sold for a good price. The struggle of daily life has been transformed into a successful business model. Each member of a cluster is now able to earn several multiples more than what he was earning when working solo. A diagnostic study come project development exercise was carried out by ILFS on behalf of Government of Tripura and NMBA. Government of Tripura requested NMBA support to launch the Tripura Bamboo Development Mission with the objective of development of bamboo sector through a comprehensive, time-bound and target-oriented policy. When we started the mission in 2006, we were not having any, any, I mean, anybody to help us. NMBA was the first organization to uh, help us and we started with a small training program then we started uh, the mechanized stick production. Then we started uh, the gasifiers uh, with the help of uh, NMBA. Together, they tasked the Cluster Development Initiative, CDI, of infrastructure leasing and financial services to carry out this study. Our way of intervention is, first we do community mobilization of the, uh, of the area. We find out uh, how many craft groups are there, how many self-help groups are there, and we also involve ourselves with uh, district rural development agencies and other government departments who are working in the cluster already because that kind of makes uh, uh, partnership easier and that helps in um, community mobilization also. 
Tripura is well known for its handicrafts. Handicraft items like toys, winnowing trays, hand fans, mats, shopping bags, wall panels, screens and lampshades are highly desirable for domestic use and decoration. It is a heartwarming experience to visit a handicraft production facility and see the craftsmen at work. Engrossed completely in their work, they are seen shaping the intricate designs and yielding products of great utility. St. Xavier Vocational Training Come Production Center, Bishram Ganj, is a huge manufacturing unit that trains and employs villagers into producing agarbatti sticks and handicrafts. It houses several machines for splitting bamboo, making slivers and agarbatti sticks of various sizes and even polishing them. These machines are largely funded by the NMBA. The center also has a gasifier that utilizes the bamboo waste from the manufacturing processes to power the factory. Agarbatti making is an age-old tradition in Tripura, woven intrinsically in the lives of the locals. Tripura has successfully adopted the model of income generation through the self-help groups, SHGs. Practice being followed is the formation of NGOs, cooperatives, which includes women in agarbatti making. These groups provide raw material like bamboo sticks and powder to women in far-flung villages who perform the rolling of sticks into agarbatti after attending to their routine household chores. The bundles of agarbatti sticks are brought in markets by groups, weighed and loaded into the trucks voiced for Bangalore the hub of incense sticks production. The traditional way of making agarbatti is still followed by the cooperatives of Subroom. Whereas new age entrepreneurs like Bonik Agro are turning to machinery to step up the production. The art of agarbatti rolling has been passed on through generations and has attracted multinational companies based in South India to raw agarbatti sticks from the Northeast. Bamboo gives us the eco-friendly furniture and a unique style statement. Tripura is blessed with availability of special round pole variety of bamboo called Kankaij or Bambusa affinis which is best suited for furniture making. Acquainted with this fact, Bamboo Enterprise United, Benu, based in Katlamara, has pioneered the round bamboo furniture making technology in association with National Institute of Design. Professionals from NID bring to Tripura their expertise in design and through regular training workshops, they help the entrepreneurs to understand the demand of the current markets. Markets are not small. School furniture in Tripura, my estimate is you require 40 to 50 crores every year for school furniture in Tripura. Why can't it be made from bamboo? The enterprise promotes livelihood for local artisan through constant innovation and design of aesthetically rich furniture. Furniture, which is becoming first choice of national and international customers, ranges from double beds to dining tables, stylish recliners to general purpose sofa sets. The center is also equipped with pressure treatment plant supported by NMBA which allows lifelong protection of bamboo from insects and fungal attack. NMBA is also constantly involved in development of machines that will enhance the production processes. This will mean faster turnaround for manufacturers and enhanced conviction for budding entrepreneurs. NMBA has initiated the development of thin sliver mechanized equipment capable of producing 6 to 9 mm slivers to support mat making activities and the craft sector and round stick making equipment that are sturdy and low cost. Bamboos from the forests are brought to the marketplace by binding the lengths together. When we stand at Chakmaghat and look down, it takes us less than a split second to realize how Tripura connects to bamboo, not just practically, but artistically. Tripura loves its bamboo and knows that bamboo has been and will always be the key to their happiness and prosperity.